what have you seen from Jalen Brunson in these last two in Philly, man? You know what's crazy, CP, is that during the football season, all we was hearing about because of Brock Purdy was, was he a game manager, a game changer, right? And I look at big body Brunson, and he's both of them. If you want a game yeah. manager, he's going to play at his, at, his, at his pace. He's going to play at his style. He's going to get off the ball when need be, when the trap like – the way he sees the floor don't get enough recognition. Yeah. And if you want a game changer, he could light your ass up for 40. Doing it his way. Yeah. Meaning floaters in the lane, pull us from the from the mid-range, tray balls, however you want it, finishing at the basket through contact, however you want it, he could give it to you. And he could close games in the fourth quarter. And on top of that, it was one moment this season where I saw his leadership skill his leadership poke out more so than ever it was during a regular season game i can't even recall but something happened on the inbound play they was taking the ball out and one of his teammates took the ball out and passed it in i think it was precious precious a chore and what ended up happening was it was actually jalen brunson fault mm -hmm. and tom thibodeau was getting on precious about the turnover and jalen brunson went to tibbs and was like nah chill that was on me and I was like, you know what? That's a guy I want to rock with. That's a guy I could rock with right there. And so when you think about the accountability level, when you think about Rick Bronson being on that bench and getting on Jalen ass when he feel like he's complaining to the ref so much, you know what I'm saying, to just go play basketball, I'm like, hold on, man. They got something different over there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you spoke to it, the accountability. And that's so mm -hmm. important, especially playing here in New York. He never gets too high, never gets too low, and always puts himself first in front of the camera and says, listen, I got to be better, we got to be better. And he comes out and shows it because the yeah. recovery in games three and four, he averaged 43 points a game, 11 assists on 50% shooting from the field. I had Steph Marbury on the show, and we talked about his struggles in, in games one and game two. And Steph talked about, you know, Jalen having to make quicker decisions off those pick and rolls, stop probing, and just step into his shots and in this these games three and four he shredded that drop coverage with Joel Embiid I mean they were targeting Joel Embiid on every possession then he also got into, into some good isolation possessions against Tyrese Maxey a weaker defender what do you think you know in this game five how what is the adjustment that Philadelphia can make here is it is it more well, zone is it you know you know stronger help from from the from the wings what do you think well they can't they didn't, they didn't throw the kitchen sink at the New York Knicks, and they responded in great fashion. And, look, I wasn't too worried about games one and two for his, you know, big body Brunson struggling because, you know, you got to think about it, right? It was an adjustment period for him, for him as well. I thought Nick Nurse came out with a hell of a game plan. Yeah. He started, yeah. you know, Kelly Oubre on them. They were picking them up 94 feet. They were leaning on Jalen Brunson. Then you come in with Nicholas Batum. Then all of a sudden, what JB done? He went back, watched some film, got better, him and Tom Thibodeau, and said, you know what, we're going to figure out ways to get you easier baskets and get you attacking downhill. Now, here's the thing. Role players are going to play better at home. We saw that. Josh Hart, in my opinion, the first two games was the best Nick player on the floor. No disrespect yeah. to Big Body Brunson. Yeah. When you go on the road, that's when you need your superstars to take you home. And that's when Jalen Brunson elevated his game. Jalen Brunson, let me let me let me say this: all season long, Jalen Brunson has been getting ready for playoff basketball. You know why? Because we've heard sound bites from Mike Brown. We heard so sound bites from uh, who who else was it? Was it uh, Jamal Mosley? Jamal yeah, Mosley, Spolstra. Yeah, Eric Spolstra. And they were talking about. You know how they basically were showing their hand because they had to pull out defensive like playoff schemes defensively to yeah. stop him. Yeah. So he's been seeing traps. It just you know for him to see the ball go in that was it. And you know now he got his swag back. Never said he lost it, but it's a different type of swag, and especially with him be poking the bat the other day because I, I was like, okay, yeah. JB, like we don't never really see him show emotions right. when he going to take somebody for throwing the elbow. I'm yeah. like, hell yeah, okay, he checked he, him, he checked no him. One. Yeah. Yeah.